My name is Marcelo Vignali. Uh, I am a production designer, art director, visual development artist. It's sort of all interchangeable. One of the things that I do as a professional is I work in animation, but I do a variety of different jobs. Initially, when a project is started, I start doing visual development. We create the ideas that are going to be utilized in the project. As the process develops, we go from pre-production to production. And at that point, I typically will assume the role of either a production designer or an art director. Everyone, from the moment that they open their eyes when they're born, they start to see a visual language and they start to collect all these images that they use in order to communicate. When you look and you see, let's say, broken bits of glass, you know that that's a dangerous shape. It doesn't matter that I don't see that on a broken glass in my kitchen. I can see that same shape out on the street. I could see it in a window pane. And immediately I can recognize that that's a dangerous shape. That's what I mean by that. So if you recognize that, and you understand how that makes you feel, then you can take that and you can utilize that as part of your visual language when you're creating artwork. And it doesn't matter if you're working in animation or if you're working in advertising or you're doing comic books. The visual language is just that, a visual language. It should be used by all artists. It's a process of simple awareness that you have to understand how that language is being used. If you have a film that you like, and I think that typically a movie that resonates well with audiences is a movie that uses that to good effect. The most important way to analyze how someone else is using it is watch a movie and turn the volume off. And now only look at the visuals. When you're only looking at the visuals, somehow you unmask a film. You unmask that process and you get to see it for what it is, purely visual. And I think that that's when you can do quite a bit of studying, as opposed to just simply understanding the language that's around you, you can see how other people use it. The brain works in a way that it sees things and those things become normal to you. The reason we look at a sunset, and a sunset doesn't have muddy colors where the colors interfere with one another, then it's sort of like, well, it doesn't quite look right. We can paint it and it doesn't look right, but we never see those colors muddy up in the sky. And why is that? It's because that's the norm. That's the way the system works. I can imitate it and I can get close to imitating it or not, but that's the way the system works. And that's why I think it's really important that as an artist, you have to be careful about what it is that you're looking at. Because if you look at bad artwork, your brain is gonna program into its hard wiring that this is the norm. So you have to be very careful about what it is that you see. If you see violent imagery, pretty soon you become numb to it. You become desensitized to it. And so I'm a very big proponent that we need to not only create artwork with responsibility, but also look at artwork with, with responsibility. To take that and say, okay, I understand that this artwork is going to affect my brain. And if I put this information into my brain, I'm going to output it later on. So I, I have this download moment and then I'm going to have an output moment. And that's why I have to be very careful about that because that becomes my language. And, and if I don't want that as my language, I have to make sure that I don't put that in my brain.